<clears throat> hey, good morning, Mr. Thompson. My name's Seth Ehrlich. I'm an anesthesiologist assistant. I'll be helping Dr. Bundy take care of you for your gallbladder surgery today. All right, we're going to start off by getting you hooked up to, uh, to some of our monitors here. We've got some EKG electrodes. These are kind of cold when they go on right at first. Sorry about that. Got three more on this side. Just gonna come underneath this arm for a second. Hope you're comfortable. There we go. And let's see, I've got a blood pressure cuff here. Slip this around your arm. Now that's going to get pretty tight the first time. It shouldn't be quite as tight once it learns what your blood pressure is. All right, I've got another monitor that's going to slip onto your finger here. This measures your oxygenation. got a nerve stimulator here that goes on your wrist. There we go. Okay. All right. Looks like we're about ready to go. I'm going to raise the table up a little bit. You'll feel the table move some. start having you breathe some oxygen here for a couple of minutes. We want to fill up your lungs with 100% oxygen. So I'm going to rest this mask right here over your nose and mouth. And I want you to start taking some slow, deep breaths for me in and out. Hello, Dr. Bundy. I'm about ready for you in OR17 for induction. Be right in. Nice big breath there, Mr. Thompson. Hey, so how we doing? Yeah, we're doing pretty well here. Yeah. How about you, Mr. Thompson? Doing all right? We got our first set of vitals. He's looking pretty good here. Uh, he's comfortable. He got two of Versed in pre-op, and he seems nice and relaxed. Nice look. And uh. we're just about ready to go. And time right. oxygen, 60 and rising, yeah. suction's available. Keep okay. taking those slow, deep breaths for us, Mr. Thompson. You're doing great. Nice, easy breaths in and out. There you go. In just a moment, sir, we're going to start giving you some medicines and get you off to sleep. Some of these medicines can feel a little bit warm as they go into your IV. Don't let that frighten you or concern you. It'll, it'll pass quickly. There you go. Nice, easy breaths. All right, we're getting pretty close. What do you think? Absolutely. About ready? And title 75. Excellent. All right, Mr. Thompson, pick out a nice dream for yourself. We're going to start getting you off to sleep. Mr. Thompson is 80 kilos. So we're going to start off with, oh, about one per kilo of lidocaine. So 80 milligrams of lidocaine. 
Lidocaine, that drug I just gave you, it may make your ears ring a little bit. Don't let that worry you. And I'm going to give two per kilo of propofol now. Actually, let me give 100 mics of fentanyl. 100 mics of fentanyl. There you go. All right, so we're going to give 160 of propofol. Here's where that medicine may feel a little bit warm going in your IV there, sir. 160 milligrams of propofol. I got this. Nice big breaths. Nice big breaths in and out. There you go. Another big deep breath. Good. All right, his eyes are closed. Mr. Thompson, how you doing? Can you open your eyes real wide for me? Checking the lash reflex. There's no lash reflex, so I'm going to go ahead and tape his eyes shut real quick. And I'm going to test his airway here and make sure I can back mask ventilate. All right, that looks pretty good. Go chest rise, let's see, catheter. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get a baseline set of twitches here. All right, we've got four twitches. You'll hold that. I'm going to go ahead and give 50 milligrams of rocuronium. 50 milligrams of rocuronium. And I'm going to turn on a little sevofluorine here while we're waiting for the rocuronium to kick in. Tighten my APL valve down a little bit. There we go. Okay, we still have a couple of twitches over there. Left. Oh, I'm being careful to limit my airway pressure here as I'm mask ventilating, trying not to let it go much above 15 to 20. All right, I think we're about there. What do you think? Sounds good. So I'm going to put the mask over here. I'm going to turn the SIBO fluorine off so we're not all breathing it. Dr. Bundy, if you would uh, hold on to that for a minute. Make sure I put this dirty blade in my dirty blade bin over here. And did you inflate the cuff? Right. Thank you, sir. All right. Now, let's see what we've got here. I see condensation in the tube. I've got chest rise. The compliance in the bag feels just about right, and looking at my monitor, I have a nice CO2 trace. Do we have bilateral breath sounds? We do. 
Okay, so that's at about 23 centimeters at the lip. That's where I'll secure it. I'm going to turn my sevoflurane back on, and I'm going to put the patient on the ventilator. And let's see, he's 80 kilos. I'm going to start him at about 5 per kilo tidal volume, which would be 400, at a rate of 12, I to E, 1 to 2. So that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to have my flows up at about... Uh, I put my flows at about six liters to allow the SIBO to get on board. And we're going to secure the tube here at 23 centimeters. I'm going to turn the flow in your ID down. Thank you. And I can, oh, you turn that off. Turn Good. off the clip longer. All right. Oh, yeah, we're looking on. good. I'll give you a shout. I need you. All right. Hopefully this won't take too long. Sounds good. Do me a favor and open that APL for me. Of course. All right. Thank you much. All right. If you see the surgeon out there, you can send him on in. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, Dr. Brouillard. How are you today? Uh, how are you? How's Mr. Thompson doing? He's doing well. Okay. He's doing well. I saw him a couple of three days ago. He's been having problems with some cholelithiasis. We sent him for an ERCP, and sure enough, that gallbladder is going to come out. So yeah, all right. We'll do that. So well, he's pretty much ready here. Yeah, we'll get him all fixed up. Okay, you so want to come up on the drapes? Put the drapes up. Could I have my uh, surgical lights on, please? Got it. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and lower my flows here a little bit. I'm at about one Mac. Okay, about ready for me to get going after we prep here? Yeah, tell you what, let's do a call to order real quick. Okay, sounds good. All right, this is Mr. James Thompson. Mm -hmm. Date of birth. November 10th, 1983, medical record number EUH 01234567. He is consented today for a laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Surgeon is Dr. Brilliard. He has no allergies. He does not take any beta blockers. About how long do you think this will take, Doc? Uh, this should be about a half an hour. Did he get any antibiotics yet? Uh, no, he, I was going to ask you about that. He's got no allergies. What would you like? Two grams of Ancef, please. Okay. You let me know when that's in. Yep, two grams of Ancef going in. Two grams of Ancef. Uh, uh, what do you think his blood loss is going to be? It should be minimal. Minimal blood loss. Mm -hmm. Okay, antibiotics are going in. Do you have any other uh, safety concerns? Any other issues? No, none at all. Okay, so none from an anesthesia. Right? So yep. Make that clear. Okay. Um, well, very good. So if we're all in agreement, I am Seth Ehrlich, anesthesia. Okay. Uh, Richard Briard, surgeon. Okay. So I've got him at about 2% end tidal SIBO, which is uh, right at 1 MAC. I'm, I'm comfortable that he's uh, at an adequate depth here, so uh, feel free to, to get started. Okay. His end tidal CO2 is a little high. I'm going to come up on my respiratory rate, and I'm going to come up on the tidal volume from 400 to 475. Let's see if we can get that CO2 down. the abdomen. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Very good. Do you need me to keep him relaxed no, for you while no, you're closing? No, no. I'm just going to close my, uh, all my show cards are out. The abdomen's going to play on the table. All right. Get some oral bicrals here. I'm going to go 
go ahead and check his twitches here. Let's see where we're at. Okay, I saw two pretty strong twitches, so I'm going to use some Gamma Dex. Again, he's 80 kilos. I'm going to give two per kilo of Sugamidex, so 160 Sugamidex. 160 milligrams of Sugamidex. I'll take uh, three Steri Strips and then some Derma Bond. I'm going to back off on my gas here a little bit. I'd like to try to get him back breathing. Slow down my respiratory rate. Let him start building up CO2. Okay, he's got four twitches. I'm going to check uh, 50 hertz tetany for five seconds. Three, four, five. So four twitches and sustained tetany. So he is adequately reversed. I see him starting to breathe over the ventilator. Yeah. All right, so I've taken him off the ventilator. I've got the APL valve all the way open. Okay, I'm going to go check on my next case. Turning the sevoflurane off and untaping the eyes. And let me call my attending. Hey, Dr. Bundy, I'm about ready uh, to wake this guy up in OR17. All right, let me go ahead and suction him while he's still relatively deep. There we go. Adequately reversed. Yep, four out of four, sustained tetany. Excellent, let me give him some Zofran. Actually, I did not give him any Zofran. Right, so go, go ahead and right do that. He's pulling good tidal volumes on his own. I've got the APL valve all the way open since he's breathing spontaneously at this point. I'm going to turn my flows up to get the last of the SIVO off. So gas is off, flows are up. We still have about uh, 0.5 end tidal SIVO here, but he'll blow that off pretty quickly. Loosen up your tape a little bit, sure. Where is my syringe? Oh, here it is. I have it. All right, we've suctioned. Breathing. The gas is almost gone. Do we want a bite block on him? Uh, I don't know. I think uh, I think we'll be okay without it. Okay. I don't think we'll need neural airway. He was easy to ventilate on induction. All right, the gas is pretty much gone. Hey, Mr. Thompson, how you doing? Good. The surgery's all over. We're going to get this breathing tube out, take some nice big deep breaths. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and deflate the cuff. And we're going to give a positive pressure breath as we're pulling the tube. So I'm going to tighten the APL valve down and then wait for him to take a big breath and I'm gonna squeeze and pull. There we go. <coughs> All right, sorry about that. Open the APL valve back up and let's confirm that he has a patent airway and is exchanging. Take some nice big breaths there, Mr. Thompson. APL valve is all the way open. Big deep breath, sir. Good, your surgery went great. Got a good capnograph. 
He's well oxygenated. His blood pressure is good. I think he's looking pretty good. Let's take him off to to uh, to pack you. All right.